Hi kids, Dave Herbert from Mr. Herbert Science Class. Listen, next year when you start school, if you're looking for a science project for the science fair, let me show you what I did here. I had a fan burn up and I decided to turn it into a wind generator. It makes a perfect science project. Let me show you what I got here. Here is the motor. I have taken all of the wiring and electric that was hooked up to it all out. It's all burned up anyway. The shaft goes through, propeller, everything is off of the front half of this. And the shaft is glued right here with my amazing goop and it's like a rubber uh, compound so it's flexible enough and we'll let this spin. And I actually have this connected to a gear drive electric motor off of this airplane and uh, that's what I'm using I've got it lined up as close as I can I use some flexible tin back here and I also put a fin back here kinda of reminds me of my first hyperfly and I've connected it up so that I have a switch down here that turns on the LED or it charges the battery depending on which way you have it set. There's a transistor in here. I've removed the center leg. That uh, turns that into a diode so I can charge the battery without it trying to run the motor back. If it's hooked up backwards, I've got a plug here that I can just simply switch around. So this battery is dead. It will not light this LED right now if I turn that on. totally dead. So we're going to take it out and we're going to let it charge in the wind and see how it does. Okay, let's talk about diodes for a minute. I had to put a diode in between the generator charging to the batteries, otherwise the batteries would try to run the generator back. So you can't do that. So I had to put a diode in the middle. Now a diode is a semiconductor that only allows electricity to go through it one way. So that's perfect for us because this keeps the battery from discharging and also filters out any AC and turns it into total DC direct current so it'll charge the battery good. Now most uh, diodes are basically uh, transistors with the center leg removed. A transistor is basically a diode across these two uh, legs and the center controls the bias to turn it on or off. Uh, but if you just look at these two legs right here and you look at the meter, I'm going to touch these together and you'll see I get a reading up there uh, showing that there's continuity. Now if I put this on this side, the plus, and this side, I have continuity. But if I turn the power around, and try to read it. Nothing. So that means the electricity only goes from negative to positive. Negative to positive is the way all electricity works, DC. Lightning always starts at the ground and goes up. So let's put the diode in the circuit. Okay, it's windy out here again today, folks, as it always is in Iowa. I have the voltmeter connected up to, without the battery in it to charge it, to see if the generator actually makes the voltage. So let's go ahead and let it spin. See what happens. Here we go. We're turning uh, oh, about one volt.
Lesson number one. Weight this thing down. Uh, as you see, the amazing goop still held. So I'm going to see if I can bend it back straight. Okay, with no battery in there, we're charging through the diode about a half a volt. So let's go ahead and put the uh, rechargeable battery in there and let it charge. When it's in this side, it's on the charge. If it's on the other side, the LED is lit. Okay, I put a Duracell 2500 milliamp rechargeable battery and we're going to let it run uh, for an hour to see if it'll charge that enough to light the LED. As you saw, the LED was dead. Let's go ahead and uh, let it charge, see what happens. Okay, this is the starting voltage of the battery. It's charging right now. Let's let it go for a while and see how it works. Voltage regulator would help. In real life, that's what they have. Almost. running about, uh, I don't know, half hour. Looks like the voltage is going up. Good. I should like that LED. I put a battery connector negative here, the generator negative here, and the common. And now I can run uh, different things off of these connectors, either from directly from the uh, generator, like the LED, or uh, I can run stuff like my MP3 player, which is playing right now with uh, no battery in here, off of what was charged from the wind. How about a wind powered clock? Here's another cool thing that I uh, have found for this, if nothing else, it makes a good wind meter and I've put a variable resistor here, uh, this is just temporary, and uh, this tells me the wind speed, so I calibrate that with the wind speed, as you see the needle going up and down there with the wind, and I'm figuring right now we're somewhere around 10 knots, and uh, over 10 there for sure. This thing is cranked along, charging the battery all along the way. Eight mile per hour, 